Hello everyone and thank you for joining me on this brief lesson on El Día de los Muertos. What exactly is Día de los Muertos? El Día de los Muertos is the Day of the Dead. It is a Latin American holiday that celebrates and honors the life of their ancestors and loved ones through remembrance and respect paid to their time on earth. It is celebrated from November 1st to November 2nd. El Día de los Muertos recognizes death as a natural part of life, a continuum of birth, adulthood, and afterlife. On Día de los Muertos, the souls of our loved ones are awakened to celebrate their time on earth. A little history behind Día de los Muertos is that this tradition started about 3,000 years ago by the Aztec, Toltec, and Nahua people. The Aztecs believed that dying was only the beginning of a long journey to the underworld of nine levels to reach their final resting place of Mictlán. The Aztecs, Toltec, and Nahua people considered mourning the death of a loved one or family member as extremely disrespectful, as the dead were still part of the community and their family, and they felt it was up to them to keep their memory and spirit alive. However, during the Spanish conquest of the Aztec Empire, this led to the spread of Catholicism and thus created Día de los Muertos to become a blended holiday that is now celebrated on All Saints Day. You might be asking yourself, how are the dead even celebrated? Well, November 1st is dedicated to the souls of the children we have lost, and they are therefore welcomed back to Earth on November 1st. November 2nd is dedicated to the souls of the adults we have lost, and are also welcomed back to Earth on November 2nd. Spirits are welcomed by making an altar or an ofrenda and by placing their favorite foods, drinks, papel picado, or pierced paper, incense, water, candles, and cempas, which is orange marigolds, along with a photo of themselves on an altar or ofrenda. El Día de los Muertos is a celebration of life and should not be confused with Halloween. As you can see here in this photo, El Día de los Muertos is celebrated differently depending on where you live. This photo in particular is from Mexico. The loved ones of the deceased are waiting for their loved ones to come back to earth and have lit many candles and placed many cempasuchiles on their tomb sites waiting for them to return. However, in other Latin American countries and the United States, ofrendas and altares are usually made in the home and have many of the similar items as well. Some of these items are the cempasuchiles, a photo of the deceased person, a glass of water, Candles, the deceased person's favorite food, incense, salt, pan de muerto or bread of the dead, flowers, calaveras or sugar skulls, and a cross. The symbolism of the altar items are very important. El papel picado or pierced paper represents the fragility of life. The candles are used to light the way back to their loved ones on earth. Water is placed on the ofrenda to quench the thirst of loved ones after the long journey back to earth. El pan de muerto, or the bread of the dead, is to nourish the spirit but represents a constant life of, constant cycle of life and death. As you can see, there is a representation of a skull and bones on the bread. The cempasuchil, or marigolds, are also called the Aztec sons and are used to guide the wandering souls back to earth. The incense is to purify the souls returning and to elevate prayers to heaven. The favorite food of the deceased person is for the deceased person to come and feast on. And the calaveras or sugar souls are to remind the soul that their body is no longer physically part of this world, but that their spirit is never forgotten. As you can see here, I made my own virtual ofrenda en altar. And what actually is important is not how your ofrenda or altar looks, but rather that your loved ones are kept alive in spirit and are to be remembered for generations to come. Feliz Día de los Muertos!